What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you tuning in. We are back here in the 350Z right now. As you saw from the title, we're actually headed over to Harbor Freight right now because I've got to do something that I should have done a long time ago. As you saw from this video, I'll play a little bit right here of me changing the oil. We're using my dad's like 30 year old jack he's had forever. It is like old faithful, like the family heirloom. And I think it's finally time to retire it. And I'm gonna buy a brand new low profile jack for this car because tomorrow I'm gonna be changing the transmission fluid in this thing and I don't have a low profile jack really. You can see in this video that it kind of works if you drive up onto these like lift things. And these are made for an RV, but it worked perfectly. So if you guys are, you know, needing something like this, check the RV store, they probably have them. So I think it's finally time we get a low profile jack. So I did read about one they have online. It's called the Pittsburgh, I think. And it's $150, which is kind of expensive, but I'm gonna put almost every dime I've made from YouTube into this jack because I think it's desperately necessary to continue the channel because if I don't have a working floor jack, it just makes sense, you guys, it just makes sense. So that's what we're doing today. We're headed to Harbor Freight right now and I'll see you when we get there. thank every single one of you guys. If you're watching this right now, or if you've ever watched any of my videos, I seriously appreciate you for being here. Like, anyways, I just wanna say thank you. Made it. You know, this works, see? When only one car on one side, it reduces your doorting chance by 50%, okay? Rule of thumb. You know, some of these jacks are so nice. I wouldn't even want to use them, but I think we're gonna do this one right here, you guys. For 150, it's the lowest one. It's got three ton weight, so I think we're gonna be good. Dude, but these ones over here, like this one. I want this one. I don't know how much it is though. And looks like we're getting the last one. <sighs> That's not light. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go passenger seat. Nice and smooth. We have the low profile jack here, $163.99 out the door. I did not get the one year $22 safety, you know, plan in case it breaks. If it breaks while I'm using it, I don't think I'm gonna be using the warranty anyways. It's nice though, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel unlike spoiled. Now let's go somewhere where we can open this thing up, set it up, and see how well it lifts the car. I'm really interested to see how fast it will actually lift the entire car off the ground. It does say rapid pump technology. So I'm assuming hopefully like three, maybe even four pumps to get the entire car off the ground. Let's go find out. So I wanna address a question I've gotten quite a few times. I have not installed the carbon fiber dash yet, and a lot of you guys are wondering why I haven't done that yet. Well, I actually did, and I tried to film it, and Steve was actually with me, my brother, and we got like pretty much halfway, and right when we started to put the carbon fiber on the car, the adhesive strips that they put on the carbon are just, there's no way they're gonna hold it to the dash. So it's kind of hard to find really strong double-sided tape that's also really thin, because I don't want the carbon to be like, you know, lifted off the dashboard at all. I want it to be one with the dash. So gosh, I mean, it looks like I got hit by lightning or something. Here we are, this is the Pittsburgh three ton low profile jack. We're gonna open it up right now, we're gonna set it up. I'm assuming it's not gonna be too hard. Probably just like a little bit of oil or fluids we have to put in and it should pretty much be assembled already. So let's do it. Right, and there it is. It's a little breezy. I want this foam to fly away. Oh man, this thing is awesome. It wants us to connect these 
Boom. All right, that's pretty awesome, actually. Pittsburgh. Yeah. All right, guys, so it's super easy to put this part in. All you have to do is reach down here. There's this bolt, pull this out. As you saw from the beginning, it just snaps in pretty easy. And then you just put this inside here, just like that. And then you wanna put your bolt back in. So I noticed they have this black safety thing right here. Just reach in here and just pull this out, just like that. And then it should be good to go up like this. You have a little better access to this bolt down here. Just give it a few tightens. Okay. Just like that, should be good. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right guys, so we're back. My camera's about to die. I just ran to Walmart. One second, change my battery. We actually had to run to Walmart really quick because the jack, for some reason, it does not come with any hydraulic fluid whatsoever. I think there's a little bit in there, but they didn't add any in the box. So I had to go buy this, it's about three bucks. It's jack oil from Walmart. And I really don't think it's gonna need very much, but I just wanted that peace of mind and make sure it's fully topped off once we bleed the system. So let's get into that right now. It's really not that difficult. So you guys, following this paper that was sitting right here when we got it, you turn the handle counterclockwise to release valve. So open it all the way. Counterclockwise is reverse of a clock, right? So first step to do is remove the four screws. There's two here and then two on this side. So remove those. So this is what the inside looks like. This right here is basically your drain plug or where the fluid goes. So we're, pre we're pretty much gonna open this right now. Just unscrew this real quick. Okay, so the next step is apply pressure to saddle and pump several times. So I'm gonna step right here and then I'm gonna pump this a few times just to get some of the hydraulic fluid pumping through there. Okay, I'm starting to see some moving fluid. All right, so I pumped it a few times. Now we're gonna top it off basically. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of this, not too much. That looks pretty topped off. I didn't put too much in there, but just like realistically, like just, I mean, just barely any. There we go. Replace the oil fill plug and turn handle clockwise to close the release valve. So we replaced the plug and now we just spin this clockwise to close this. All right, there we have it, you guys. Should be set to go, let's try it out. All right, you guys, so don't ream me in the comments, please. I, I know this isn't necessarily exactly where you're supposed to jack the car up. But I'm just doing it for educational purposes, okay? Oh, oh, would you look at that? Goes right under with ease. Just gonna eyeball this real quick. Oh gosh. All right, it's all the way up against the car now. I'm gonna basically give it like two or three just full lifts to see if we can get the entire thing off the ground in as, as little lift, lifts as possible, ready? One, two, three. How are we looking? Oh, we're so close, you guys. Boom. That's off the ground. Fantastic, if you ask me. So I know you're not necessarily supposed to jack your car up from right here, but you can do it, and it's not the best, but I just wanted to show you guys that it works, and it works fantastic. Ready, ready, ready? If only we had bags. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting a haircut this week, you guys. It just looks insane right now. This is definitely one of the best jacks you can find online. $150, you probably aren't gonna beat it as far as price goes. There are some in the $250 range, but this one does the job and it's low profile. It's long enough to get under the car and it looks awesome. Honestly, I think it looks like an Indy car. I'm gonna be changing the transmission oil in the next video and also gonna be doing the diff fluid here in the future as well. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss those videos, you guys. Changing the transmission fluid is seriously one of the most important things you can do as well as the diff fluid because the diff fluid gets the hottest of any fluid in the car. So definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss those videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.